home right now with Domino. Um, but I'm getting ready for a photo shoot. My model's going to be here in a little bit. I'm getting ready to set up my scene. Uh, so I thought I'd share that process with you guys because uh, I think that's kind of fun to see the behind the scenes of how I create. Um, I am what I consider a intuitive artist or photographer. Uh, I, just, I don't necessarily super plan things, like I don't plan things out three months in advance, but that's also where like sometimes I come up with an idea and I might sit on it because it's just not the right time to do it or I just end up shooting something else and I just have this idea. So, uh, so that's where some things are planned, some aren't. Um, we're doing a bathtub shoot, number one. Uh, I have a couple series that I have done over the years around bathtubs or with bathtubs because I like water and I don't know, I love a good bath. Who doesn't love a good bath? Um, so uh, there's more to it, but yeah, I like shooting bathtubs and I just moved into a new place and this place has a bathtub. I haven't had access to like a bathtub probably in the last like two or three years. I mean, okay, my other apartment had a bathtub and I lived there for a year, and but it was an ugly bathtub. I gotta have a pretty bathtub. Uh, I wish it was a claw foot. That's my favorite bathtub. Uh, but the light is also the other thing. The light that I get in my bathroom is really nice and I am excited to hopefully take some natural light photos. I do have a ring light in case I do need to light uh, my photos. Uh, but mainly bathtub shoot. Uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, how I like set up for a scene um, that I like to use flowers and fruits and kind of create uh, more kind of fine art scenes for my uh, shoots uh, as well as I asked the model what her favorite color was and what fruit she liked uh, because that kind of helps me guide where I want to go with my shoot and because I have a couple series that I've done over the years with bathtubs or around bathtubs and they were kind of color coordinated or I just did different colors because I don't necessarily, I like shooting things that are similar but not the same, like I don't want to do the same thing every time so I like to tweak things and one way that I tweak them is by using different colors. Um, for the, what we're doing I have shot purple, red, and orange. Um, she chose strawberries. She really likes strawberries and from there I'm adding in blackberries and maybe some raspberries But mainly it'll be strawberries and blackberries. So we have her strawberry which is red and then we have blackberries which are purple and I chose blackberries because She said her favorite color is uh, lavender or light blue uh, and I thought lavender went better or looks better with uh, strawberry or red than light blue um and I, I, I yeah i don't know but that's that was where my thoughts were going just sharing that with you guys um and so from there uh i decided that we're doing blackberries and strawberries because that's red and purple and then we're doing uh lavender purple uh and red flowers uh so I kind of that's how i kind of think through things for shoots um, and then from there I went to the studio. I have a box full of props, uh, which I'll show you. I just kind of picked randomly. I didn't necessarily go, oh, I know I want to use this. I just kind of filled the box with things that I thought would look good for this shoot. Um, and then I have gone to Trader Joe's and I went and I got flowers as well as, uh, besides fruit, uh, I again like to make kind of elaborate fine art scenes. Uh, I guess maybe I like food and I like I, food's pretty and, and, and decadent and, and photographing it is fun so uh, I also got some like cookies some chocolate just to add a little more to the scene um, because that's always I, I feel kind of like I guess my brand or my my style of, of really shooting if we, if we really want to uh, get in into like that because I like to shoot lots of different types of styles and genres but I think that within that people create their own way of shooting and so that's where whether I'm shooting fine art, boudoir, even portrait, I love when you can get really elaborate when you can create a whole scene and have uh, plating and bowls uh, so 
that's what you guys will see me and I will sh show you guys next is kind of the arrangement of stuff that I've been talking about uh, and maybe that'll make more sense. So uh, we're going to leave Domino here and I'm going to get into it with you guys. Said I have this kind of arrangement of stuff for the shoot. We've got raspberries, blackberries, some cookies, chocolate, uh, candy, strawberries, more kind of cookies. Uh, I like going to Trader Joe's because they're not too expensive. So like this is $2, dollar, dollar, $2, three. Uh, the berries were a little more expensive. You know, fresh fruit is can be pricey. And then I also like Trader Joe's because I think that they tend to have a good variety of flowers. Like these are little bouquets that they make and these are three to like six dollars depending um and i got four of them and then uh i i just really liked this color purple of roses sorry I, there we go like that yeah those those are just it's like purple pink and so i think that just kind of goes into our uh, arrangement uh so and i like having some roses because roses are always great for uh scattering in the bathtub as well as uh You'll, uh, you'll see um, they look great scattered across the tray of whatever like food you're making. Um, roses are just the best for scattering. Um, and then this, I love the reds we have going here. And then, you know, some lighter colors to just kind of give that contrast. Um, and I will take you guys into the bathroom and show you what's happening over there. So this is the bathtub. I have a vase. I have my box of props. We're going to move the towels. But this is pretty much our scene. Try and ignore the towel here. But the light. See I have a w this lovely window. And it gets great light. Like here I'll turn this. Yeah. Like, look at that light. That natural light that I get in here. I have my phone here. Because I'm going to try and, and do a time lapse. I always like a time lapse when I set up scenes. Because I, I think they're cool. Um, but yeah. That's what's happening here. I'm going to set you guys down and I, well, okay, I'm not going to set you guys down. We, I will show you the things that I have in the box and kind of talk about that next. All right, guys. So we have one vase here. Um, I, this is new stuff that I got recently that I am going to be using for this shoot. Um, but then you see, I keep this box at the studio so that one at the studio, I put items that have been used so I know to wash them. And then these are all items if I need to bring things. So uh, we got another vase, which I think, yeah, I like to have vases of, of varying heights because it, it just creates that uh, kind of a, a guide guiding line or something for the eye when you have photos. So I'm going to put one of these vases in each of the corners you'll see. Um, and they'll get a full bouquet of flowers. Um, I brought a pedestal. Boop. Because if I want, I could put this on top. Kind of like that. Um, you know, not sure if we'll use that. We got bowls and things to put our fruit and sweets and treats. So you'll see how I'm gonna do that in a second. But that's everything that's kind of going on here for the bathroom scene. So I'm gonna get my time lapse going. I'm gonna set the camera down and I will show you guys how I set my scene. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs>
Yeah.